what's up my people welcome back to the channel leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber so people may have some things i'm gonna share with you guys as usual but before we get into that click the top bell icon after you subscribe so you can get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel so people medic family gets scam only remember medic right the girl that went missing seeing i think the family i give up a one million dollar reward for anybody we know our whereabouts you know what i mean so medic's family reportedly scam of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in false whereabout claims three months after the disappearance of dancehall artist medic her mother is now lamenting that scammers built the family of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars by claiming to have knowledge of her whereabouts for a fee millicent mccurdy medic's mother said the scammers have sought to rub salt into the wound the other day someone contacted my other daughter saying they know of the house in linstead where medic is being held and they will give information for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and she transferred money to them and they stopped answering her calls she explained we reported the matter to the police they have the bank account number and all know nothing scammers are trying to profit from this terrible situation my daughter is so naive and young she wants her sister back home she was so disappointed and they took her money according to the police 29 year old stephanie williams was the last seen on thursday august 24 2023 wearing a black blouse black tights and a pair of black shoes she is of brown complexion slim build and is about five feet seven inches tall mccurdy said that she was surprised that the jamaica constabulary force had not been able to unearth any clues in her daughter's disappearance because of their vaunted crime fighting techniques it's important to highlight that they were able to locate someone involved in a bomb threat quickly but seem to be dragging their feet when it comes to my daughter case this stark contrast raises some serious questions about their commitment to really finding my daughter she remarked i saw online that emphasis was made on the high level equipment used to crack cases why isn't the same effort being made for my daughter she is an innocent citizen of jamaica and will her choice of dating is not understood my child should not be judge mccurdy said so the reason why she said her choice of dating is because she did a date one youth where you know what i mean lock up right uh, mccurdy is surprised that with all the resources available to criminal investigators there has been no breakthrough in the case there is information in regards to her last spin location and the driver who picked her up is known but yet there are still no answers she revealed she said that she is desperate for closure and was humbly and patiently waiting on the lord to reveal my daughter's exact location me and my family are desperate for closure we firmly believe that my daughter is still alive it's crucial to rally the support of your fellow jamaican citizen and ask for their help in locating her or providing any information that could lead to her safe return there's still a one million dollar reward out there for any concrete evidence in locating my sweet baby girl to bring her home she said medic is best known for songs such as money feelings and her growing catalog of collaborations such as overcome featuring shana and boss level featuring javelani however mccurdy said that her daughter was more than just a dancehall artist as she was a successful entrepreneur as well with a brand of holistic products available at pharmacies all over jamaica so people if you know can help out a situation please help out this lady she want back her daughter you know what i mean it's very sad so moving right along with people district council be injured in father stepdaughter fight senior parish judge lori cole montague condemned the actions of a corporate area man 
and his stepdaughter after an altercation that started at their home continued at the police station and resulted in two female district constable nursing injuries. I think it's terrible that this spill over to the police station. It shows a complete lack of restraint, said the judge. Kenny Thompson and his daughter, Shante Myers, both pleaded guilty to assault occasioning actually bodily harm on Tuesday in Kingston and, Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. Thomas also pleaded guilty to malicious destruction of property. Mayors contends that Thompson that Thompson slapped her with a piece of board in her back while they were at home. It was shared with the court that Mayors went to the police station to report the assault. However, Thompson showed up moments later and another altercation started between them. He started SLU, SLUT shaming me about a piercing I have in my mouth, Mayors explained. The district constable who intervened were assaulted in the melee and were left with bruising, swelling and tenderness to their chest. Thompson, who was also charged with two counts of assaulting the constables, denied those allegations. He is expected to stand trial in that matter. He agreed to make compensation for damaging Mayor's iPhone, which is valued at $40,000, and made a first payment of $10,000 in court. Thompson and Mayor's were made the subject of a fingerprint order and are to return to court on February 29, 2024, for sentencing. So I let the police station them two yago fight. So we are gonna move on, people. Taxi driver involved in fatal Westmoreland crash charge. The taxi driver involved in Monday's fatal motor vehicle crash in Bluefield Westmoreland will go before the Savannah Lamar court today after being charged with five counts of death by dangerous driving. Five people were KILL after the taxi collided with a truck. On the main road, the deceased include a mother and her son, a mother and her daughter, and another woman. The taxi driver had fled the scene. So, no see me, people. This taxi driver, you know, what I mean, kill off the five people, them, and him did okay enough that him could have get up and walk away from the accident and take away himself. You see me, me understand enough for them taxi driver, yeah. Them are work for people and them want to make a, 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 a look of money for themselves also. But take time and drive the same way. You can drive at a normal speed and make money for yourself and the boss. Maybe you don't to make as much if you drive fast. But you have to think about people's life. You see what I say? So I'm going to move on with people. Leave your comments in the comment section. Man SHOT dead in St. Elizabeth after reportedly pointing gun at cops. One man was fatally shot and a firearm seized during an early morning raid in St. Elizabeth Wednesday morning. Reports are that between 5 a.m. and 5.45 a.m., a team comprising from the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, CTAC, and the St. Elizabeth Police Division conducted an operation in Burnt Savannah, right? targeting criminal suspects from Kingston who were believed to have been hiding out in the parish. Our news team understand that during the operation, while breaching the main target premises, a man reportedly pointed a firearm at the breach team and the officers. A member of the team took defensive action and discharged his firearm, striking the suspect in the upper body the suspect reportedly dropped a smith and wesson 0.40 pistol loaded with a magazine containing 8.40 caliber cartridges the gunman was transported to the black river hospital where he was pronounced dead he is yet to be formally identified in accordance with the protocol the independent commissioner of investigation indicom was notified no members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force were injured during the operation. So you don't know me people in the come, them have to do them investigation. 
as long as you know what i mean a police shooting go on they must have to make sure say the police did a act in the confine of the law so we are gonna move on my people so one of the suspects in the murder of philip palwell's daughter and his mother and her mother get sentenced today so i'm gonna go update on that man who helped murder palwell's daughter and her mother to spend at least 20 years in prison one of the men convicted for his role in the slaying of the infant daughter of opposition member of parliament philip palwell and her mother will have to spend a minimum of 20 years in prison for his crimes his name has not been publicly disclosed it look like it's a impton witness to me people you know what i mean so i hell and powder house for that girl and her cousin the sentence was handed down in the home circuit court in downtown kingston on wednesday media have been barred from the sentencing hearing however sources say the convicted k-i-l-l-e-r has been sentenced to 30 years in prison on each of the two counts of murder for the slain of the 10 month old Soraya Palwell and her mother Tashina Pattison. He was also sentenced to one year and 10 months in prison on each of two counts of kidnapping of the mother and daughter from their Gilmore Avenue home in St. Andrew on September 9. The sentences are to be served concurrently and he has been ordered to serve 20 years before he is eligible for parole a sentencing hearing is ongoing for the second man convicted for his involvement in the k-i-l-l-i-n-g so people as soon as that forward me are gonna update upon that so me are gonna this right now you know what i mean and them two person yeah, them plea guilty you know what i mean it look like say them plea guilty and I go and take a plea deal. You know what I mean? Plea guilty, take a plea deal to testify against um what's she name? The woman where we orchestrate everything and our cousin. So leave your comments in the comment section, people. Bless upon yourself and thanks for watching.